Over the last two months, I've been making vlogs documenting my daily life as a computer scientist at Cambridge. And throughout all of the videos, I've had loads of comments. I've tried to reply to a lot of them, but not all of them. But now I am going to reply to all of them in a video. So I'm going to focus on the more general questions about Cambridge and just briefly skim over the questions about interviews and applying and getting in and things like that because I'm going to make a more complete video uh, covering all of that stuff soon. So I've got all of the questions printed out. Uh, let's get started. I'm sorry if I pronounce anybody's name incorrectly. So the first question from the first vlog uh, comes from, and I'm going to struggle already with this name, Baru D 2 He says, cool video. Uh, could you make a video on how to take your notes and how to study, like giving advice on how to study, etc. Your room seems nice. Is the roommate an okay guy? And can you change roommates? So the first part of this question, how to study effectively, I'm going to make a video on that as well. So again, I've got a few questions asking the same thing. I'm going to just skim over those for now. Roommate, yeah, we get to choose our roommates. Halfway through first year, we choose who we want to share a room with in second year. So you can choose somebody that you like and you're friends with. Can you change roommates? No. If you end up with somebody you don't like, it's probably because you're stupid and you've chosen somebody you don't like. It just generally doesn't happen. Dennis Seipel. Uh, I gather the drinking age in the UK is only 18. Yes, yes it is. Great vlog though. You're going to minor in cinema? Correct me if I'm wrong, but minoring in something is like doing a different subject. That's not your main subject. Which doesn't happen here much. Uh, I believe this is more of an American university thing to major and to minor in something. I'm just going to be doing computer science, nothing else. Thomas Dobson. Hi Drake, I can see that this year you're staying in the new block of Queens. Have you ever stayed in the old college buildings and do you think you will next year? So yes, this year I'm not in the newest building. Last year I was in a newer one, Crips. This year I'm in Fisher. Uh, I know those me names are meaningless to you, but it's relatively new compared to the rest of college on the other side of the river. Next year, I'll be on the other side of the river, but probably in the new block over there as well. Maths Fanboy asks, what grades did you get and any tips to get accepted into Cambridge? Quickly, GCSE, I got five A stars, three A's. A level, I got four A stars and maths, further maths, physics and computing. But all of the details about that, I'm going to save for another video, which I'll make in a few weeks. Daniel Lawson asks, would you say Queen's is relatively well located for most things in Cambridge? If not, which colleges would you say are better slash the best? Yes, Queen's is really good actually. Queen's is almost right in the centre. And for me it's good because it's on the right side of the city for the computer lab. I don't have to go through the centre to, to get to the computer lab, which is in the West Cambridge site. So Queen's is in a great place. Um, basically, if you look at the map, all of the, the colleges in that area, you've got uh, King's, Clare's, uh, Pembroke. All of those colleges are in the centre and are in great locations. You get ones that are really far out like Homerton and Girton. Not so good for getting to things in the middle. Mr. Prebertal, please do a video on computer science admissions and literally everything you know, including your own grades, etc. Yes, I will. Matt Jones, I'm not from the north, what's the significance of Greg's? Everybody loves Greg's up here. Greg's, for those of you who don't know, sell pastry, food items, pasties, sausage rolls, things like that. And they're literally everywhere in the northeast. Every street has a Greg's. Some streets have two Greg's, like this one. People in the south don't seem as crazy for Greg's as we are, though. Game Dev SPS. Is there an area of Comsky that you're particularly becoming interested in since being at Cambridge? So I've found lots of areas of computer science that I'm not interested in. I'm not a fan of all of the theoretical courses like mathematical methods for computer science and probability, but I quite like the course on graphics and I generally like all of the programming courses, C and C++, Java. The, the kind of the courses where I can see myself learning stuff that I'll use in real life once I leave Cambridge. Next comes a question from Christopher Jacobs. What operating system do the computers at the labs in Cambridge use? They all dual boot Windows 7 and Ubuntu. AX Florida asks, the video quality is very good, using your mobile or something else? All of the videos where I'm just walking around with my arm out like this, I'm using my iPhone 4S. The videos where I'm sitting in my room and it's good quality, it's from the Canon 600D. A question from Canbalukbas, I'm sorry. Your vlogs are really nice, I'm curious about your motivation. You guys have so much opportunity to go outside, to play games, to have fun, but you're still studying, so what does keep you studying? Well, mainly everybody else is studying. Like if you if you, if you look at this from the a point of view, like everybody collectively, you wonder why does everybody study? Everybody could just have fun, but that's not the way it works. You look at it from your point of view, and everybody else is studying, so you study. 
and you look at one of those other people, they're studying because everybody else is studying. It's kind of nice circular thing which keeps everybody studying. And if you if I did choose not to and I got distracted and I went outside and I did something else, the work doesn't go away. I still have the work to do. We have to hand in all of our work to supervisors to get marked, so there's just no way of getting out of doing the work. I'll cover motivation and staying concentrated more in my how to revise effectively video. Another question from Christopher Jacobs. This was marked as spam and with Google's and YouTube's stupid new comment system, I can't unmark it as spam, so I'm sorry about that. But he asks, hey Jake, I really want to read Comsky and Cambridge, so I'm studying this year A-level maths and IGCSE physics, and next year A-level physics, A-level stats, and further maths. Do you think that with good grades in these four subjects, will I be able to study there? Yeah, absolutely. I reckon maths and further maths are the most important subjects to study, uh, to then do computer science at Cambridge. And if you're doing both of those, then they won't hold you back at all with getting into Cambridge. Techno Guy 3 says, do you do any actual learning? Lol. Uh, yeah, we do so much learning, so much work. Um, I cut most of that stuff out of the vlogs because it's really boring. Zeljko Stefanovic uh, asks, Did I have a chance to get into Cambridge MSc in management if I finish BSc study at non-famous university? Uh, so I think this question is asking, Can I do a master's at Cambridge having not done a degree there? So you go and get a degree somewhere, then go to Cambridge to do the master's. Yeah, I think you can do that. That's a thing people do. Next question from Garmin101010, conveniently on the same topic. I was wondering if you'll stay for the fourth year master's. I always wanted to, before I started Cambridge, uh, do a master's and then maybe even a PhD and become a doctor of computer science. But now that I'm at Cambridge, I'm not so keen on the idea and I'll probably leave after three years and get a job. Uh, if I do do a master's, it won't be at Cambridge, it'll be somewhere else. For two reasons. One, I, I want to get out of Cambridge as soon as I can. The other reason, the probably more important reason, to do masters at Cambridge you need to get a first in like first, second and third year. I'll, I'll check exactly what the requirements are. Z Mainx, Main X. Jake Wright, could you show us what you've learned so far at Cambridge? What I've learned so far, that would be a lot of stuff. Uh, probably not suitable to put in this video. If people want to know what I've learned generally, at Cambridge. I mean, I can't reteach my whole degree on YouTube. There's too much stuff there. Um, but I could show you the, the things I've learnt about. Uh, if that's something you want to see, let me know. I can make a video on that. Navy Kid. Jake, how do you manage to get so wasted but be so smart and intelligent? I can only do this rarely or else I'll slack so hard at school. So I wouldn't say I get wasted all of the time. If you're talking about drinking a lot, uh, yeah, Freshers Week went out a few times. Not as much as people at other universities in this country seem to. Our freshers week is not even a week long, but when I do drink and go out, you just have to be sensible. Remember that you have to be up for lectures the next morning, usually, uh, so don't get too drunk. Going out a lot during term just, it makes you tired. There's no chance to catch up on sleep during term, you just have to wait until the end and you get to the vacation. So everybody is nearly dead by the end of term, you just have to to deal with it and keep going. Bian Nier asks, I saw on the Cambridge undergrad statistics page that there are only six Comskys in your year at Queen's. Are you more close to them or with the rest of the Comskys? Yes, that's right, there are only six computer scientists in my year at Queen's, and that's quite a lot. Uh, a lot of colleges only take one computer scientist, or maybe none at all some years. You can end up being a single computer scientist in a whole college. So six is a really great amount. Uh, I'm really close with the other the other Comskys at Queens. Generally, Comskys from other colleges, I don't really get the opportunity to to talk to them and and do much with them. I'm friends with some of them, the the old person from a different college, but there are eighty Comskys altogether in my year, and I don't know most of them. Daniel Lawson uh, says that the the amount of work I did for single supervision puts him off going to Cambridge. Yeah, the, there's just a, a ton of work to do every week. Also, as it usual, for a round of applause in lectures. Only at the end of a lecture course. Christopher Jacobs. Hi, do you actually pay the annual tuition fee of £9,000 or does the student loan pay the tuition fee? Also, if you never get a job and earn, I think, £21,000, you will never pay those money. I'm just curious because I heard something similar. So yes, all of that is correct. I don't have to personally pay the £9,000. I get a student loan, which pays the tuition fee and I never see that money it goes straight from the student loans company to Cambridge and the second part is also correct you don't have to pay it back until you have a job where you earn more than £21,000 a year another question from AX Florida do students ever sleep during lectures there yes all of the time 
you can have like 5%. Last year, in fact, uh, it got up to about 10% of the, the room were asleep just on the desk like this. You just get so tired at Cambridge. There's, as I keep saying, there's a lot of work to do. You're up late. If you go out, you still have to get up for the lectures. And after eight weeks of non-stop work, everybody's just really tired. And if you end up in a lecture, which is really boring and you're not interested in it, you just fall asleep. Nathaniel Higgins uh, says, Dude, how do you have any time at all? I don't. Chen Yuda Nifi. Uh, hey, I'm studying IT. Is C and C++ hard? Uh, so C and C++, I'd never done them before, before the, the course that we did this term, which taught us C and C++. And I'm finding them pretty tough, yeah. Luke says, Currently picking my A-levels, but not sure whether to do computing or ICT. I've never done computing and have no knowledge knowledge of coding languages. Is computing helpful when wanting to do computer science? I've been told it's better to focus on maths and physics. Yes, that's absolutely right. Maths and physics are definitely more important than computing. It may sound strange, but computing at A level is not computer science. It doesn't teach you things that are really relevant for computer science. The things that it does teach you which are relevant are taught again in the degree. Computing or computer science at A-level is never a requirement for a course because not all schools offer it. So they don't expect you to have done that at A-level. As for ICT, um, not useful at all. I'd advise against taking ICT if you're interested in computer science at university. But yes, focus on maths and physics and further maths, really important. Computing, if you want to do it because you enjoy it, go ahead. That's exactly what I did. But you don't need it and maybe something like chemistry would be more useful. But I don't regret taking computing at A-level because I enjoyed doing it and that was more important to me. The Oblivion Kid 19 uh, says, could you possibly do a video showing us how your time is divided up in a typical day? Yeah, I'm gonna make a video next term uh, called The Day in the Life of a Komsky. And I'm gonna show you exactly how my day fits together from waking up to going to bed. The last couple of questions, can you do a Cambridge Uni tour video? And I was wondering if you could tell us your A-level results and stuff from P A C I Y Reen and Benzi Junid Moonigan, respectively. Um, yes, next term I'm going to do a tour of my room. I did one last year, I'll do another one for this year because I'm in a different room. And yes, I will be making for the millionth time a video about A level results and generally everything I know about how to get into Cambridge. So, there are all the questions I got asked in the vlogs. I hope that clears some things up about Cambridge. If you have any more questions, Send me a message, leave me a comment. I will try to read it, despite the, the new Google Plus integration with the comments, which makes it really difficult to read the comments. I don't get email notifications anymore. But I'll do my best, and I'll maybe do some more videos like this, um, answering general questions about Cambridge. I hope this has been helpful. For those of you who have interviews at Cambridge or Oxford or any other university this month, good luck. I hope they go well. Thanks for watching.